I'm going to talk to you today about the recap of Raw and uh, some things that uh, actually were pretty good. Triple H um, and Ric Flair. We got a return of Ric Flair. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was good cool seeing, seeing Ric Flair again. Yeah, it was good seeing them uh, two in the ring together again. Points. Uh, yeah, Ric Flair gave him a little advice on how to uh, take on Sting or how to be prepared for Sting. Right, right. I liked how uh, Triple H knocked, his, uh, knocked him down on the floor. Uh, Wyatt, still, uh, the guy's giving golden promos. I mean, we, we can assume that he's going, he's talking about The Undertaker at this point. I, I like that he's not, um, he's not really fighting on Raw. They're kind of keeping him hidden. I think he's had a couple matches on SmackDown, but... Well, they um, can't have him beating everybody up. That's the thing. They I think it's good because they're holding back on him a little bit. Cause it, it, so, when you know, when you do see the big fight, it's going to be a lot more entertaining. Right. Gold Dust and Stardust. We've seen um, finally that uh, Cody turned on his brother, and uh, I'm glad it was Cody that that they made heel, and because uh, he's the the future. And um, Gold Dust is on his way out. This is going to be his retirement match, most likely against his brother. So it it makes this makes sense, and uh, I'm I'm waiting for this match. Been waiting for this match for a while. Uh, can't wait to see it. Uh, what yeah, do you think? I, I think it's going to be great. You know, I love both of them. Um, they're both great in the ring and together. They're you know they're going to have a great chemistry and they're going to put on a great match. Um, and I enjoy this angle a lot. Um, it's probably one of my favorites going on right now. Actually, yeah, it is yeah, definitely definitely my favorite angle going on right now. The primetime players, uh, they're back. Darren Young makes his return. And, um, yeah, they, so. they teased us that he was going to have some random partner, and then. Uh, Comes in the big dog, and he comes and joins them, and the primetime players are back. Nice to see them having somebody else who they can work off of and, and you know, maybe get back to where they were um, at that tag team level. Right, okay. And uh, the end of Raw, Roman Reigns and uh, Daniel Bryan, that was a, a really good brawl they had. I, uh, it, was it, it was really good. It was really um, good I brawl. haven't seen a brawl like that in a while. Um, I loved it. I loved that they didn't break it up. The, the crowd was going crazy. They were well, telling they them, tried to, they were tell them let them fight. You know, I like the whole little handshake thing. Then they ended up going back. That was great. Again, that, was, you know. that was very old school. Yeah. Um, they were throwing some real hits in there. You saw a couple of them land pretty well. But that's what they got to do to make it look realistic. And they know that. Um, right. I, I give props to Roman Reigns. I think he did a great job. But see, that's exactly what they need to do with him. Yeah. Just basically just do that. You know, less time on the mic. Less go time in on the mic. There, he brawling. stepped up. And uh, it was entertaining, and the the fighting was good, and it got you hyped up, and you want to see more. You want to see this fight now. Yeah, you know, exactly. before I, you know, everybody maybe wasn't as much into it because they didn't, you know, they weren't behind Roman Reigns, and they they really didn't want this match. They just want Roman Reigns out of the picture at this point, um, and Daniel Bryan in. But I think this is going to prove that Roman Reigns, you know, um, can do it, and that you know. You know, hopefully he can prove himself and that he's ready at this point. Roman Reigns can be enter entertaining in the ring. He could like John, like John Cena. He's entertaining in the ring. He's not a great wrestler, but right. he knows how to brawl and make an entertaining match. And Roman Reigns, I believe, can do that. Yes. Um, just he needs, especially right now, just less time on the mic, uh, or or give him a mouthpiece. Right. <laughs> And uh, that's our recap of Raw, but I just want to point out just one more thing uh, that's uh, hitting the news is that Samoa Joe left TNA. Right. And what are your thoughts? you think he's coming to WWE? Um, I hope so. Uh, you know, I think he would like to be in the WWE. I would love to see him do, be in the WWE. Hopefully, WWE doesn't mess this up. They jump on the opportunity to get somebody like Samoa Joe. Usually, they don't like to get a lot of people that were, um, you know, in TNA. Um, and we're never in WWE before. Well, Vince um, doesn't like to, as uh, I've heard that he, he he doesn't like to make guys come to WWE if he didn't make them popular. Right. So he didn't you make know? them, and he was he's not a WWE made guy. Um, but yeah, I could see him coming to WWE, even NXT. And I mean, if he came to NXT, I could see. Well, him I heard that Triple H actually does like Samoa Joe, and he wants him to come, and he wouldn't mind if he came to next. But it would the problem would be would then he be able to go to the main roster after that would Vince right. allow that to happen. Um Rhino. I Rhino came some, back. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he came he, back he on that. coming back That's to right. NXT. Um he's gonna be like a I guess like a part time trainer and also wrestling on NXT. Right. Um so yeah, it's that's it that was a good pickup for Triple H. 
Um, so yeah, NXT is looking good. WWE is looking good. So it's been a good week, everybody. Uh, we'll catch up with you guys next week right after Fastlane. We'll post a video um, about uh, the results and what we thought about it. All right? Best tag team champions ever. Yeah, right, sucker.